life coaches at queenbeing.com where we help you to recover from life with a narcissist. So today we're going to talk about the Hoover and why a narcissist Hoovers and why they won't just leave you alone. And maybe a little bit later about why they don't Hoover sometimes too. But before we get started, if you have any questions regarding narcissism, go to queenbeing.com and check us out. There's lots of information over there. And also check out the information in the description of every video where we have links to coaching if you need it and group coaching if that is something that you're interested in and you need for your life. So let's get started. Go ahead and hit subscribe and we will talk about the narcissist and hoovering. So a lot of people wonder why a narcissist just can't leave them alone. Why did they discard you in the first place if they're only gonna come back and continue to pester you, bother you, and try and suck you back in every few weeks or days or months or years even? So the narcissistic person has a need for supply. We know this, right? They need a supply that others give them. It's more than needing validation though. What they need from others is actually the person's energy. They need the other person's attention, whether it be positive or negative. They need others to sustain their sense of who they believe they are. One reason they hoover is to maintain supply. They will keep pulling you back in, whether it's to argue with you or to love bomb you. Anything to keep your attention and your focus back on them so that they can glean the supply that you give from your responses. This can go on and on for years. It's also keeping you trauma bonded to them. The narcissist sees this as you being interested in them. So if you maintain an interest in them in any way, shape or form, they maintain you as supply. Basically, they're addicted to the fix that they get from your attention. And again, it does not have to be love bombing or positive attention. It can also be in the form of argument or just negative attention. Another reason they hoover is they see you as an object and an object that they possess. Once you're theirs, you're always theirs in their eyes. They see others as an extension of their own ego and therefore letting go of someone and allowing them to be autonomous would be like denying their fragile ego, which they believe is their self. A narcissist has no boundaries and in fact, they love pushing the boundaries of others. This is like seeking supply, but it's a really specific way where they're pushing your boundary of leave me alone or please minimize contact or whatever it is you're saying to get space from them. If there's any breach where they can get to you, they will seep through like poison. Because they can't take accountability, another reason a narcissist might hoover is to get you to forgive them of anything they need to be accountable for. In other words, they might be trying to make themselves feel alleviated from any guilt, any like ounce of guilt that they push back into their subconscious by forcing you to say that they are a good person. A lot of times they'll hoover you back in with positive love bombing so that they can reinforce the delusion that they are the one who's right and a good person. They're trying to make you take the blame for their actions covertly. They're trying to reinforce the lie that they tell themselves about who they are and what they are. They're also trying to solidify the delusion that they live in. The narcissist does not like to be alone. Sometimes a narcissist will hoover when they lack supply because they need the supply and other times they may have supply like new supply and want to keep you on the line for times when they're low on that supply. They may hoover in order to prove to the new supply what an amazing ex they are. Do you know what I mean? They're trying to make it look like they weren't the bad guy and so that the new supply sees that they can still be friends with their ex. Or on the flip side, they may be trying to use you to triangulate with the new supply so that that new supply is set off and insecure. They love to triangulate and they love to have the drama of multiple people's attention going toward them. They also love to stir the pot, so to speak, so that in their home life with their new supply or their, 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 with their main supply, they are making that person feel so insignificant and insecure because they're keeping you in the picture or they'll lie and they love to hold the lie. So they'll be lying to the new supply that they're not talking to you and they're actually talking to you and trying to pull you back in and have you on the side. They like this little dance and the drama and the agony it, can, it creates in other people. 
if they are closer to the psychopathy end of the spectrum, they may be doing it in a sadistic way to continue hurting you. Basically, the Hoover is a continuation of the love bomb devalue cycle from a distance. It's nothing more than the same tactics they use in every relationship where they pull you in and push you away and pull you in and push you away in various forms that we call love bombing devalue. Let's talk about what happens when the Hoover works and you go back or you start talking to them or whatever it is in any form, okay? What usually happens is a disaster. For the most part, they tend to go right back to their old ways within a few days or weeks or even hours, actually. And then it becomes worse because you've taken them back knowing exactly what they are and they know it. Sometimes it can last longer, like even up to a year if they have a lack of supply or if they have a real reason to keep you in the dark about who they are and keep you as supply. If they have like a desperate need for the supply or they have a need to be seen by others like such as a good father or a good husband and they need society to really believe that about them the covert and the communal narcissist can hold on for a long time maintaining that false sense of a happy relationship how come the narcissist doesn't always hoover some people will say that the narcissist in their life never hoovered and they think it's because of something related to themselves. They don't feel they're worthy of a Hoover. This is just a form of withholding, and they know that by withholding themselves from you, you will continually think of them. They're punishing you. It's not that we want them to Hoover, it's when they don't, we think there's something wrong with us, and that there's something we did that's, that we were the reason that the relationship didn't work out. What they're really doing is they're withholding themselves so that you feel that way. They're punishing you and it feeds their ego to know that you're hurting. They're not leaving you alone because you're not worth hoovering. That's nonsense, you are awesome. They are leaving you alone to punish you, like I said, because they know that abandonment hurts. The more punitive and the higher up towards psychopathy they go, the more they do this. This is not as common, but it does happen with narcissists where they simply won't ever hoover. And again, it has nothing to do with you or your nature in relationships. It's a personal punishment tactic that they're using. They're also not being nice and letting you live your life. Guaranteed, there's an angle that's feeding their ego in here. So the thing is, when you're being hoovered by a narcissist, you're in a very vulnerable state because it immediately triggers your trauma bonds. You may feel like you wanna go back. It may feel like you matter. It may feel like things might be okay and give you hope. It's really hard to get to the point where you realize it's not personal and it's honestly not even about you, it's about the narcissist. You are an amazing person and I'm sure you deserve a healthy relationship. Trauma bonds, when they're triggered, feel like you are deeply in love and the love of your life is right in front of you making amends. It's super confusing and hard to deal with and it's very hard to resist a Hoover. For some people, it's even hard to resist the feeling of wishing that the narcissist would Hoover. I think the stark reality is remembering it is not personal. They are Hoovering for their own gain. The narcissist sees people as objects, not individuals. They enjoy the differences between the different objects that they feel they possess. They lack empathy and it does not allow them to really have remorse or take accountability. So they won't change and they truly aren't sorry. They may say they're sorry, but what they mean is they're sorry that they got caught. So realizing it is not someone making amends to you or someone apologizing or someone taking accountability, it is someone trying to use you and suck you back in so that they can use you more. It's not because of you and it's not your fault. They literally will do this to whoever they're with. At the same time, they're probably grooming new supply that they already have. Remember that a narcissist likes a harem. They like a lot of people around them to choose from and take supply from. They like the ego boost it gives them to have people fawning and pining away for them. They like knowing that you hurt when they're not around and they like knowing that you are confused when they are around. They like the instability because it keeps them in power. So I'm gonna to end today by saying don't fall for the Hoover, understand it. Understand that you can choose to go no contact and that that no contact keeps you at a distance from all the emotional upset that a Hoover can bring. Also, if you can only go low contact, that you keep things 
as businesslike as possible and keep things lacking any personal emotion, if that makes sense. Don't feed them with your emotions and your feelings. Simply get whatever communication needs to be done as simple as you can and as concise as you can, as quickly as you can, and then keep your distance as much as you can. Again, my name is Lise Colucci and I'm a life coach over at queenbeing.com. If you need anything, check out the links below. Hit subscribe here and I'll see you next time. Take care.